Hello everyone, welcome back to Verilog tutorial. In this video, let's see full ladder and let us write the Verilog code test bench and let us look at the simulation waveform and also let us implement full ladder using two half adders. So in the previous video, we have seen full ladder and the explanation already. This is what the gate level schematic we are going to get for the full ladder. So let us write the Verilog code for this. So start with module full adder is the name I am going to give and here in full adder we know that a b c in are the inputs and some carry are the outputs so let me declare a b comma c in are input ports and sum and carry are the output ports and then declare inputs input a and then b and c in and which are the outputs here output sum comma carry and here i am writing again in data flow description so use assign write the expressions using assign statement for sum sum is c in xr with a xr with b here is the expression for sum you can implement it directly so a xr b xr c in we can write in this way similarly for carry assign carry equals to a b plus a c plus b c so let me use braces a and with b and this is r with a and c in and this is again r with b and c in this is how we can write sum and carry end module this is the rtl description for full ladder let me write it as this is full adder dut this is just a comment for our reference and here only i am going to write the test bench this is the test bench for full ladder so again a test bench will start with the keyword module only module let me write it as full adder underscore tb for test bench there are no ports associated with the test bench so input of this full ladder becomes a register here in the test bench reg a comma b comma c in similarly outputs become wire sum comma carry okay from here onwards i need to assign the input values for a b and c in before that i need to instantiate this dut that is full ladder so i am instantiating that using the same module name full ladder let me give it as f1 as the instance name and here i am going to connect dot a of my full ladder dut connected to register a of test bench similarly dot b of my full ladder dut connected to b in tb similarly dot c in connected to c in comma dot sum connected to sum comma dot carry connected to carry so this is about the instantiation and from here onwards i am going to give initial begin and the different values first let me give for a okay how to write test bench values means by looking at the truth table we can write easily here we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 similarly up to 0 1 1 1 so i am going to write it in the same way a is equal to 1 tick b 0 and at the same time b is equal to 1 tick b 0 semicolon c in is equal to 1 tick b 0 this is the first case so before assigning the next case next case input i need to give some delay so let me give hash 100 and after that i am giving a is equal to 1 tick b 0 b is equal to 1 tick b 0 again and c in is equal to 1 tick b 1 so this is 0 0 one case 
similarly we need to give all the different case of inputs here so here i have written all the cases of inputs so this is for 0 0 0 input similarly this is for 0 0 1 and 1 1 0 finally 1 1 1 so i just wrote a comments for those lines for reference so then i am going to end this block and then i am going to use initial begin and a monitor statement so dollar monitor within the brackets first i am going to write dollar time it is going to fetch us the simulation time and then here onwards it within the double quote i am going to write the string what i am going to display a is equal to so percentage b comma b is equal to percentage b comma c in is equal to percentage b comma a comma b comma c in comma sum comma carry so this give us the simulation result in the log end module so this is about the test bench for full ladder let me save this and i will copy this same code in the eda playground for simulation so this is for ladder dut and this is my test bench so this is the test bench i have copied and this is the this is our design so let me run this okay you can see here these are the outputs we are going to get this is time a 0 b 0 c in 0 sum 0 carry 0 and similarly for the different values of a b and c in we are getting sum 1 carry you can verify here also and also we can verify it using waveform so to open waveform here i need to use initial begin dollar dump file and within the braces i need to use dump dot vcd dump dot vcd file and uh, then dollar dump v a r s and then end. it is required to open the waveform ep wave after run so let me say this and run it again now we can see waveform is opening okay now we can uh, verify a b c in are the inputs and carry and sum are the outputs here so this is for 0 0 0 0 0 1 we are getting sum is equal to 1 similarly 0 1 0 input we are getting sum again for 0 1 1 carry is 1 sum is 0 it is correct 1 0 0 similarly 1 0 1 here it is 1 1 0 and finally here we are unable to see this last one 1 1 1 where we are getting carry 1 sum 1 so this is full ladder using data flow description here you can see i have used assign statement the same thing you can also uh, do using behavioral description so for behavioral description here output you need to make it as a register and uh, let me comment these two lines i am commenting the data flow description code here i am writing the code for data uh, behavioral description behavioral description uses always statement always at the rate here we need to write the sensitivity list so i am writing a comma b comma c in our module is sensitive to the changes in a b c in and it will give the output again here we can use the same statements sum is equal to a x r b x r c in and let me write for carry also using the same statement this is for carry and here end end this always block this is for behavioral description code so let me save this with the same test bench again i am going to run so you can verify now for full ladder 
behavioral description this is the output we are getting you can verify this for different values again we are getting 0 1 1 output is 1 0 similarly here 1 1 0 gives 1 0 here in the 700 time unit you can see for 1 1 1 we are getting carry 1 and some 1 this is the correct output so this becomes the behavioral description code for the full ladder if you use assign statement for sum and carry that is the data flow description code and also you can write using gate level description by using three input xr gate with the keyword or primitive xor within the bracket sum comma a comma b comma c in and also use three and gate primitives and also one or gate primitive to get the carry uh, that can be try out at your end for gate level description so now let me go to the next thing that is full ladder using two half adders here you can see this is the diagram uh, we have for full ladder using two half adders this is one half adder this is another half adder and here we will be having a carry so for this we need to have a half adder first using the half adder we need to write the verilog code here i am going to write the verilog code for full adder full adder using two half adders first we need to have a half order module so module half adder so this is the half order code i am going to use and for full adder again we need to declare input and outputs and the port definition will be like this now i need to start writing the two half adders i need to use this block half adder and two half adders and one R gate for implementing full adder. Here I am instantiating this first half adder. This first half adder will be having inputs a, b and outputs sum will be represented as w1. This is a wire connection between the two half adders. So I am calling it as w1 and carry of the first half adder will be treated as w2. So here in the code I need to connect dot a with a it is the input comma dot b again it is an input for that half adder with b and comma dot sum of the half adder this sum will be connected to w1 here so dot sum of w1 i am supposed to write here w1 is not declared so i need to declare those things as wire wire w1 so this is how the sum of half adder is connected to w1 of the full adder module similarly what is carry dot carry in the half adder is connected to w2 but i have not declared this w2 here i need to declare it as wire so w2 so this is for the first half adder Similarly, I need to have one more half adder. In my design, I have one more half adder. So, half adder, let me call it as H2. Now, I am writing the code for this second half adder module. So, again, within the brackets, I need to declare it as dot A of my half adder is connected to what now? The input. Input is W1 here. So, let me write it as it is connected to W1, comma, dot B of my half adder is connected to what? that is c now c input so here it is c in so that is my input for the second half adder here you can see this c is represented as c in here so it is c in and then dot sum will be connected to sum again it is sum and comma dot carry of that half adder to is connected to this is the carry here this is the carry so that is w3 so that is about second half adder now we will be having r gate here so i need to use orr primitive let me give the name as something like o1 and here first i need to write the output of this so output of this r gate is carry so this carry i am supposed to use so 
carry will be generated from the R gate. So carry and by taking which inputs W2 is the input coming from one half adder, W3 is the another input coming from other half adder. W2 comma W3. So this completes the full adder code using two half adders. Now I need to use this complete module of full adder with half adder in my tool. So let me copy this. Here I am pasted half adder and also the full adder module which is designed using half adders. Again the test pinch code will be same for this. Let me run this. Let us see what is the output we are going to get. So here you can see use get signal button to add more signals to the waveform view. Okay. Let me get signal from the full adder. Okay. Okay, I am using this module F1 signals A, B, carry, C in some R, N, F. So I go I got those signals here. So you can see now A, B, C in. Let me take this C in above. Okay, like this. So now you can see for 0, 0, 001, we are getting carry 0, some 1. Similarly, for 0, 1, 0, we are getting 0, 1. Uh, similarly, for other values, you can see. You can compare the outputs with the truth table. 101 gives 10 and at the last, okay, at 703 time units, here we are unable to see that completely. So for this, we are getting 111 as input, 11 is the output. So half adder we have designed, by using that we have designed full adder. So this gives the correct functionality. You can also see here using the log file where some and carry are going to be displayed, it is coming correctly. This is about full adder using two half adders. This is how we can implement it. And also in place of assigned statements, you can use behavioral code for the half adder by using always statement. And also you can try it out writing the full adder in this way. So in the next video, let us see multiplexer Verilog code and implementation of 2 is to 1 max, 4 is to 1 max and 8 is to 1 max. Thank you.